Hey guys, welcome to that Pillow Show. Dan here. Mick here. Hello. Welcome to. Uh, no, it's not Pick a Mix anymore. It's is pedal it? jams. It's pedal jams. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, I'm tired, Dan. You okay? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. I think um, the echoes of Nutbush City Limits. <laughs> it's enough to put anyone in a sultry mood. It cheered me up there. Um, yeah. Okay, so pedal jams is four pedals uh, that are kind of new to us. You'll see that there's five, but there's a reason for that. Um, so we just run through them. Dan, the pedals this week are... We have the Kangra uh, from Walrus Audio. We have the Drive In from Neo Instruments. We have the Wampler Terraform. Uh, and we have the Source Audio Collider Delay and Reverb. Very nice. Okay, interesting selection of stuff. Right, Drive In. You will know Neo Instruments best for the Vent series yes. of rotary speaker simulators. Um, but Guido and the and the people there have done a, an overdrive pedal. Don't know how Guido. You... Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> One more time. Uh, I love that song. Is it Boss anyway. Gags? Boss Gags, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Leo. So good. Lido. Lido. The Lido Shuffle. Yeah. Now, interestingly, swimming baths in the UK used to be called Lidos. <laughs> Spelled the same way. L-I-D-O. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so you take your Lido, your Lilo to the Lido. The Lido shuffle. And sing Lido. Awesome. <laughs> anyway, all right, drive in. It is. Hang on, this is all in German. That's no good. It's good to know that overdrive is the same in German as it is in... Uh, Overdriven! Is the same in a... Um, Krankenwagen. That is an ambulance. There's an ambulance, that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. My kids found that thing on YouTube of um, t English words to German. Have you seen that? Oh, it's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Just discussing there. Definitely some thin ice <laughs> appearing beneath our feet here, I would say. Well, I love Germany. Well, my, my last name is German, very German. Oh, so it is. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so they, sent, still... they sent Germans there too, then? Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's a classic overdrive pedal. Um, volume gain and tone, which should be fairly self-explanatory. Um, and then the additional control is this color yeah. thing. And what that does is it uh, it voices it. So the more down it is, the more bass there is in the circuit. Okay. And the more you turn it up, they suggest the more you increase the drive, presumably mm. because the uh, low end... Um, gives it more overdrive. So let's let's go. Let's let's do everything as it should be done. Done. Okay. I don't want to put this one on two o'clock. But uh, so amps today are the Matchless with with its very own Matchless cab. Finally, so happy. The the Matchless uh, D something something, isn't it? Yeah, the two by twelve. Yeah. With the mismatched speakers. Yeah. All that stuff. It's yeah. So lovely. And for the first time in ages, the Mesa Lone Star. Yeah. Which I thought had broken down, but it hasn't broken down, and there'll be a story about that. A very interesting story. Yes. Yeah. In an, in another show. And it's sounding glorious. It does sound? It's always sounding great. Yeah. 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 Um, all right. Uh, so give us a, a shrang on the amps then, Dan. <laughs> the harmonics in that the overtones in it it's quite mid focused isn't it so yeah. i'm just going to turn this reverb down a little bit even lovely though it is It feels very lovely under the fingers. Have a go. It's very nice. It's really, really nice. Uh, I have a question about it in a minute. I'll do some strat and then I'll grab a um, humbucker as okay. well. Thank you. 
sounds fantastic. Sounds really nice. Uh, these are new pickups in they this are. guitar. These are the Ron Ellis uh, 64s, which I'm just getting used to. So uh, we're, you know, doing all the listening live, really. Sounds wonderful. It does. It's got a lot, bit more bite back, yeah. hasn't it? A bit yeah. more presence. Mm. All right, humbuckers. <laughs> sounds glorious sounds really really good yeah it's got a bit of a mid push that color knob enables you just to dial out a bit of bottom end so yeah. it doesn't get too mushy mm. which might be really useful if you were stacking it into something else sure but also usable gain range all the way yep which is really nice yep lovely very cool very, very simple cool. very cool okay um should we do the kangra let's next? do the kangra i missed the kangra because it's not on the main terrace there you see i see <laughs> Well, so so I want to try this for ages. Um, this is the Kangra Fuzz from Wars Audio, but it has a very interesting feature. Okay, so the story is the Saturday Night Live guitarist, okay, Jared Scharf, okay, who is also a producer, a session player, and an artist in his own right. But right. people know him best from Saturday Night Live, the American TV show, and he's the house guitar player on there. Has been since two thousand and seven or something. Anyway, okay. that's what it says in the Wars marketing. Um, he, his brother gave him a K fuzz tone from the sixties. Wow. Okay. Which I'm assuming is kind would be so, kind of similar to your Shine thing. Yeah. Uh, the K is it the one with the sliders? I can't remember. It had octave in it anyway. Right. Okay. So right, okay. probably a similar yeah, yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. You know, bearing in mind that those circuits were in their infancy there, and everyone was sort of borrowing off everybody else and. There's like that that particular fuzz circuit is released in like 30 different pedals. Yeah. It's crazy. So what one assumes that it's in that ballpark. Mm -hmm. So it's got that on one side, and then on the other side it's got filter, uh -huh. which you can set uh, static or you can apply an envelope to an right. auto filter, or you can put a expression pedal in okay. and have the waka -chiki, waka -chiki. filter off your foot. Um Two voicings for the uh, uh, for the first side of it. Let's mm -hmm. listen to them. Why don't we? Be better off with some lead, mate. I would have thought. Awesome. Awesome. So good. Gated, spitty. Octave fuzz. The two switches are um, a vintage and a modern. Okay. Uh, one's fuller than the other, and the other one is uh, more mid scooped and more mid pushed. Sure. In in the voicing. Um, <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
wonderful. Just fun all day, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, the other side is a filter, right? So yeah. we just turn the envelope off for a second? Okay. I want you to imagine you're, you're in the middle of your EP at the moment, aren't you? Yes. So imagine the breakdown bit. It's all been all loud. And then from out of nowhere comes a really, just like a, a, a repeating rhythm guitar part. Okay. okay. Yep. You did say my EP. Cool. I think that's how Jared uses it. Okay. Re reading the literature, I think he has the um, expression pedal. Yeah, an expression pedal. So all, everything I was just doing there with uh, this knob, the frequency knob, you can control off a uh, expression pedal on right. the, underneath your foot, mm -hmm. or you can make it automatic. There you go. So like an auto wah. Yeah, very uh, cool. And then of course what everyone wants to do is let's put them both together. It's great. Try and look for some humbuckers. Rhubarb and custard, grain chill. <laughs> That's really great. That's really great. Just for, like for once in the set, pulling yeah. that out from nowhere. Yeah. I think awesome. that actually, I because the tendency is, isn't it, you sort of get in and you do all the silly stuff and it's good fun and everyone has a laugh. I actually think that filter could be really super useful. Sure. Super useful. Mm. Just in its own right on the um, expression pedal. When you're doing a gig with the DJ. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got an expression pedal, but anyway, it'll be. Uh, yeah. What's that right. called when the DJ does that? Do they drop? Is it the drop? When you're uh, in a club, yeah, and they build it and they build it and they build it and they build it and everyone's then off their start tits on stuff. drugs and yeah, 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 and then the DJ decides the moment to drop it and release the euphoria into the uh, audience for all you EDM fans out there. Nice. Uh, 
if you're going clubbing tonight. Um, anyway, uh, so it's perfect for that. Perfect for that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think it'd be really. I think it could be really. Well, I useful. love. I love that super buzz type yeah. sound. You know, uh, it's as far as a fuzz is concerned. It's such a a unique sounding, like blistering type thing that that sits really well on a mix. You know that uh, that that switch that more bassy trebly one to the mid one. That's on the original. Is it? And uh, yeah, it's they're two really cool sounds. Yeah, great. Very cool. Really, really cool. Okay, uh, let's dive into a little bit more complication then. Wobbler. 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 Has a while ago now, we've only just got to it, unfortunately, um, stepped into the multi effects market. They have indeed. With a surprisingly compact all round modulation machine. So it does 11 um, different modulations. Mm -hmm. It has eight presets. Nice. Yeah, eight. Perfect. Yeah. Check it out. One LED on, three off, is preset number two. You'd like it. Five, six, three ah, on. Ah, one, one off, off is five. Seven, eight, nine, eight. One, two, three, four. So five, eight. six. Seven, yeah, yeah. Okay, there you go. Counting, never a strong point among guitar players. <laughs> so yeah. Here's when you start in three, four. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> Oh, some days, some days. Um, so it has, uh, you won't be able to read it off the camera, it's too far away there, but it has, um, interestingly, Dimension. Oh, awesome. Which we'll have a listen to. Chorus, mm -hmm. Harmonic Trim, mm -hmm. Hooray, not a lot of mm. things have Harmonic Trim. Normal Tremolo, um, Auto Swell, Rotary, Univibe Type, Phaser, Flanger, Envelope Filter, and um, Auto Wah. Are they not the same thing? Anyway. Um, I want to have a listen to the dimension, Dan. Okay, of course you do. Uh, very small writing. Right. Requiring... Oh, that is tiny, isn't it? auto -war. Let's see if I can make it work. Go. Look at your full healthy head of hair. <laughs> People say I dye it. I promise you, I never, I've never dyed my hair. I do put a lot of crap in it, which might make it look darker. Okay. Not real crap. Like Sheen. Hair products. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's, it's, it's, yeah. Come on then. Oh, okay. We're up to. <laughs> Thank you. 
Lots and lots and lots in there. Yeah. As you will have gathered, as I was messing around there while Dan was playing, this variable knob here, so speed and depth blend should be self-explanatory, mm -hmm. speed and depth being the speed and depth of the effect, and blend being the mix with the dry signal. The variable does different things depending on what which parameter. On? So it might be the waveform shape in the tremolos, oh, or okay. it might be the feedback in the flanger, nice, etc., etc., etc. So, so far, so good. Lots of um, cool modulation sounds. Eight presets, I believe it's as simple as, mm -hmm. press and hold the preset switch until it blinks. Blinky. Mm -hmm. uh, press the preset switch until you get to your desired location. Let's go number two, let's be okay. right out there. Uh, press and hold the preset switch to store. So once you find it, so you find a sound. Yeah. So let's say this is the sound you want, and now you're storing it. Now you're storing it, apparently. Right, there you go. And there it is. Stored. There it is. Hurrah. <laughs> Notice we didn't actually try that. Um, so yeah, dead, super simple, eight presets. I like it. Right. Uh, but there is one more feature that's really cool on this. It's really cool. I don't know if other items of I this type do this. You can either run it in straight, um, series as you would uh, any pedal. So you can put your overdrives before and your delays and reverbs afterwards mm -hmm. and have it sit there in the signal chain. Or, really cool, if you patch it in as Dan has patched it in, in this mode, mm -hmm. it basically tells the overdrive where to sit in terms of um, the modulation effect. So, for example, a lot of people really like Univibe before overdrive. Sure. So it'll do that, and out of the box, if you use it in this mode, which is called pre and post mode, okay. um, Univibe, Phaser, Flanger, Envelope Filter, and Auto Wah are pre-gain. Okay. And Dimension, Chorus, Tremolo, Harmonic Trem, Auto Swell, and Rotary are post-gain. Nice! Which kind of makes sense. Yeah. So what Dan has done, the reason we've got this extra um, J-Rocket Touch Overdrive in is because that is the pedal that's that's in there, yeah? The Touche OD. Which is really cool, because if you've got another multi-modulation device, for example, that can't do this, you've got to make a compromise about where you put it in your signal chain. That's right. So you, if you have it after your overdrive, that just means all your modulations come after your overdrive. But by patching the overdrive in, in this mode the way Dan's done it, um, you can have your overdrive pre or post any of the effects. Yep. So this is the overdrive pre the Univibe. So the guitar signal is coming in, it's hitting this first, then it's hitting the terraform and then out. Now I can change that, so that's hitting the Univibe first. So put it the other way again. Okay, yeah. You can tell that there's a different LED, whether that's pre or post, different color on the um, bypass LED. 
very, very cool. Yeah. But people have their preferences, and I think it's such a clever feature to add. Yeah. So you can save that as part of a preset. Yes, and you can say, I want my uni- – just to, just to make the point again, I want my Univibe before, but I want my rotary speaker after. Yeah. And not have to mess about. It just saves it. Yeah, it's, it's great. Very cool. Cool. All right. Um, so Source Audio Collider Delay and Reverb. This is the Ventress, parts of the Ventress dual reverb engine and parts of the Nemesis. Nemesis. There you go. I was going to say Nemesis. Nemesis. But I thought, hang on, that's a, that's a Star Trek film. Yeah. It can't be, but, you know, hey. So it uses all uh, the same DSP power and it uses the uh, dual DSP of the Ventress with the analog drive through. Right. Which is pretty cool. And reading between the lines of Source Audio's uh, marketing, it is basically the greatest hits of the two. Nice. So you can get delay and reverb in one pedal. Relatively simple, even for somebody like me. Um, reverb on this side, mm-hmm. delay on this side. Mm-hmm. This switch. Mm-hmm. Now the controls do the delay. Ah, uh, there you go. Now, now they do the, do reverb. the reverb. Right. And if, you, if you're like, right, I don't want anything to change, you can just lock them off. These control functions here just control different parameters depending on what effect sure. you're running. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe um, it goes delay into reverb, but I suspect knowing Source Audio with the Neuro, Neuro app, you can probably change that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They might even be parallel. I don't know. But um, in any case, uh, there are four presets in normal mode. Mm-hmm. And then if you do some jiggery poker using the control switch on the back here, you can get eight presets. Okay. But I think the idea of having four is just so that you don't have to scroll through eight the whole time. Sure. Two, uh, two ways of going through the presets. One is um, go through the presets. Mm-hmm. Two is hold up. Oh, nice. Down. Please go down. Yes. <laughs> Great. Um, should we have a listen then? Sure. Um, let's have a listen to some delays first. Uh, tell you what's quite nice. They've got an oil can delay in here, Daniel. Oh, wow. Oh, well, we might be in preset mode. How do you get out of preset mode? Uh, how do you get out of preset mode, Dan? Well, I think as soon as you start spinning that, it will... Oh, no, no, it wasn't. It's because I was locked. I see. It's because I was locked. So if that guy comes up to you during your set... Man, you'd sound so much better if you just had a little bit more regeneration on your reverb.
Lovely. That's nice. Really lovely. Having global con tone control over all your delays. As you could hear, I was messing around with the control one and two parameters, which tend to be modulation rate and depth uh, for indeed all the delays. Yeah. Um, and then a oh, reverse delay was the one we didn't hear. Got to crank the mix all the way up. Sounding super good. Trails mode. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> Obviously. Um, this was cool on the reverse delay that it was different uh, numbers of voices. Right. In the So it wasn't just one voice in the repeat. I That's hear so many voices. Really cool. Okay. Uh, delay reverb. Let's just have a quick flick through those. Room reverb. Just lovely. Each Just lovely. preset holds the delay and the reverb separately. Oh, so you can, ah, you can, so you've got control over. Yep. That is clever. So you can be in and out of the, I don't think there's been many presets saved because I was struggling to select a preset there. It all just sounded the same. Um, That's me. 
that's pretty cool. I really like it. So tap tempo. Um, so this is on or off. If yeah. You, if you um, when it's on, mm -hmm. if you it knows you're trying to tap tempo. Okay. Um, and if you want to turn it off, I think you have to hold it for more than 250 milliseconds. Ah, I see. Secondly, uh, one more thing. Let's just go for a slightly different reverb here. Let's go for a plate. Just awesome. There's a hold, yeah, yeah, hold, yeah. A hold function on that, the uh, that's great on the reverb, which is pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, me too. I like that. Um, we were talking recently about uh, analog delays where the uh, time switch time knob wouldn't give you that kind of really analogy yeah. thing, and that's not doing that. Mm. So, plus you've got the whole Source Audio Neuro um, app, which adds a tremendous amount of other functionality, mm -hmm. plus it's stereo, plus it's MIDI-able. Proper stereo in, stereo out. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It's great. Yeah, I'm sure there's a load of other stuff as well, but I think that's pretty killer. Yeah. Certainly in the form factor. I mean, you could imagine you've got these two on your pedal board. Man, that's so much power there with those two pedals. Yeah. It's really great. Yeah. Really, really cool. Nice. Um, Shall we jam? Let's have some jamage. Okay. Um, Thank you for watching. Yeah. Have a great day. Uh, please check out thatpedalshowstore.com uh, for t-shirts and beanies and strings and things. Uh, also, massive thank you to our patrons on Patreon. Also, massive thank you to our preferred retailers, uh, details of which you can see in the description below. Great. Let's boogie.
Wow.